here is part five of my year-end tax saving strategies. The first one we talked about tax loss harvesting. The second one we talked about prepaying your 2024 expenses. The third one was my favorite because we talked about placing your long-term and your short-term rentals in service before the end of the year. In part four, we talked about purchasing necessary vehicles and equipment for your business. Notice the word necessary. In part five, I want to talk about deferring income to 2024. All the income that we receive is taxable in the tax year that we receive it. So if you don't send an invoice until 2024 and you don't receive that income until 2024, it's not taxable until then. So if you're already looking at a high tax bill for 2023, maybe we don't send that invoice. We go ahead and wait until 2024 to send it. Now we have two and a half months left in the year. So at this point, I'd recommend go ahead and send an invoice. But as we get into December, maybe the middle of the month, there's some invoices that you need to send out. Maybe you just wait, hold off. You know, people are on vacation. So the invoices are slow going out and they don't get sent out until 2024. So I hope you've enjoyed the five year in tax saving strategies and make sure to keep following me for some more tips.